Hey guys, Lance here. Welcome to my review today on the Sennheiser HD 598. These are audiophile level headphones and what many consider to be one of the best headphones you can get under $200. I'm going to agree with them and I'm going to get into that more today as I talk about the sound quality, comfort, and features of these headphones. Now these are an amazing pair of headphones, but there actually are a few reasons you may want to consider something else. So I'll talk about that. I'll give you some specific models I might recommend for some other situations. But also check below for any additional information about these headphones, especially where you can get them at for the best price. Also, if you'd be interested in a group review of different Sennheiser headphones, check below for a link to that video as well. So I'll start out by giving you a closer look at the headphones themselves. Um, as you can see, you have the left and right designation on the ear cups there. You also have these raised bumps here on the left side, so you can actually just feel that this is the left side of the headphones. You adjust the headbands by a click adjustment here. What's nice is these headphones accommodate a wide variety of head sizes. So at its smallest size, my kids are able to wear these. I wear these at about eight clicks, but then they actually go up to 18 clicks. So there's plenty of room here, uh, no matter what your head size is. On the top here, you have the Sennheiser logo on the headband. The headband is covered in a pleather or uh, basically a fake leather. The padding under the headband is very comfortable. Uh, there's just enough here to give you a very comfort, comfortable um, effect, but there's not too much or it's not too firm, so to speak, that it starts to create hot spots on your head. And then the ear pads are velour, which are extremely comfortable, very soft, very comfortable. There's also plenty of room on the inside here. Um, I think for any size and shape of ear, really, even if you have larger ears, your ears will fit in here just fine. The ear cups themselves give you both a little bit of extra horizontal, horizontal movement and a vertical movement, the back and forth here just a little bit. And it's just the right amount. It allows you to get that perfect fit um, on, on your ears that way when you're wearing these. These headphones do come with a three meter or just over nine foot long cable. Uh, it ends in a quarter inch adapter, a gold plated adapter here. You also have the 3.5 millimeter adapter that you can use to for um, uh, MP3, you know, portable devices or your computer or something like that. Now when you're connecting this to your headset, you just push it in and then twist just a little bit and it snaps into place. What's nice is this won't come loose. It won't just pop out of the headset. And then to take it out, you just twist it again to the left just a little bit and pull it out. Now one thing to be aware about this when you're using the adapter is when you have this plugged in to something like your phone or iPod Touch or whatever, um, that because of this weight here, this can start to pull down a little bit on the uh, connector uh, here. And so it's something to be aware of because over time, this extra weight can cause this to bend. It's really not something you have to necessarily worry about, but just something to be aware of if you're using this all the time uh, in this fashion. Otherwise, the other option is you can actually purchase a different cable from Sennheiser that ends in a 3.5 millimeter adapter. So that's another option as well. I'll include some information below about how to order one of those cables if you're interested. So overall, the styling is really nice for these headphones. There's just a lot of great detail, uh, whether it's the connector here, um, which looks really sharp, or you have the burl wood accents, uh, the grill work. Um, everything just looks really nice, even just the little detail uh, around the top here with the headband. All of it looks really sharp. You feel like you have a, a very um, you know, high-end headphone uh, in your hand, even though it's a plastic build it still comes through feeling like a, a real quality pair of headphones. So from a comfort and fit standpoint, these are one of the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. And I consider myself to be someone who's fairly picky or critical when it comes to headphone comfort. You know, whether it's the top of the head, getting hot spots up here, or just around the ears, getting this pressure that can build up over time, uh, whether the padding's too firm or not firm enough or plush enough, whatever the case may be. But with these, they are just so comfortable. I think anyone will be able to wear these all day long, um, even if you're someone who, uh, like me, can be kind of picky when it comes to headphone comfort. So next I'll give you a live sound leak test. And what I'll do is I'll use my iPod Touch fifth generation. I'll start it out at 50% of max volume and then take it up to full volume. At full volume, it's not a very comfortable volume for me to listen to, but it'll give you an idea of how much sound will leak out at different um, levels along the way. So we'll start it out here at 50% of max volume. This is 50%. This is a good listening level. It's right in the middle. Now take it up to 75%. 
So this is about 75% of max volume. Okay, I'll turn it up to 100%. This is 100% of max volume. So there you go, it gives you an idea of how much sound affects others around you at different volume levels. The bottom line is these are open headphones, so they're definitely gonna leak sound. Something to be aware of if you're planning on using these around other people. Next, I wanna talk about the sound quality of these. Now these are the best all-purpose headphones I've used yet, not only for music, but for gaming and movies as well. They have the ability to sonically reproduce anything I toss their way um, accurately and being able to do it without distortion. They also have an extremely likable and unfatiguing sound, which I found makes them perfect for just about any kind of music you listen to. Except if you're listening to, say, electronic, house, metal type music, these headphones might be a bit slow. Uh, in that instance, I might rec recommend something like the HD25-1. Those um, happen to be one of the best DJ headphones in the world. They're great for portable use, they're closed back, but they're a little bit faster, great for those genres of music. If you love acoustic recordings, these headphones will make you feel like you're actually getting a personal live performance from your favorite performer. These headphones also excel at soundstage and mental imaging. They have such a precise and huge soundstage that it actually gives you an advantage in competitive gaming. You'll notice when playing games like Battlefield that you can actually hear who's coming to get you and where they're coming from with more accuracy, so you actually notice you start playing better. The bass is tight and well controlled. You also get these great sparkly highs. Overall, just a beautiful listening experience. Also, you have the option of using these without an amp or with an amp. They are a 50 ohm headphone, but you can certainly power these with a portable, de portable device. I listened to these uh, on the iPod Touch 5th generation. They sounded great. I also used an amp and they sound even better. But know that if all you have right now is, is like your iPhone or, or portable MP3 player of sorts, as long as it has a decent amp um, within it, like the, a lot of the newer iPod Touches do as an example, or the iPhone, You'll be just fine and these will sound great. But what's nice is if you invest in an amp later on or from the get-go, just know that you'll actually be able to take these up to another level and they'll even sound better. So it's really nice that these are kind of headphones you can grow into. Meaning if all your budget allows right now is just to get these headphones, fantastic. You have one of the best sounding all-purpose headphones uh, in the world. Uh, these are really phenomenal headphones. But then, as your budget allows, rather than having to spend more money on another pair of headphones, just invest in, a, in an amp, and you'll be able to get more out of these headphones, and uh, they'll perform beautifully for you. So it's really nice you have that versatility. You can use these without an amp, but of course they sound even better with an amp. So to be more specific about some of the nuances of the sound quality with these headphones, really, they just don't do anything wrong. They sound very well balanced. Nothing is missing, nothing is out of line. Bass is definitely present, but I might say it's the least present between the mids and the highs. Now, some will complain it's not enough, but I'll tell you it's definitely enough. If there were more bass, it wouldn't be as good as, as an all-round balanced headphone. And even when I was listening to some of my favorite music, like uh, Lindsey Sterling, where there's dubstep, or I was listening to Will, Will I Am, where there's you know a great driving beat in the background, it's, there's still enough bass to really make those songs sound nice. It's not that the bass is so laid back or or mellow that you feel like you're missing out and you need an amp to get a to get a fun listening experience from those. You do get some thump in the bass when you're listening to that type of music, but it's very well balanced and it doesn't overextend itself into the mids or the highs. The mid range is definitely present and I might say the strongest of the three. Vocals sound amazing on these. Mid range makes you feel like the entire sound really comes together. It really gives the music more life it sounds more realistic. And then of course we have the treble. So with the treble, these headphones bring a great sense of detail, speed, energy, clarity. But what can happen sometimes with treble is when you get a lot of that, that great sparkle, that great clarity, it can get fatiguing to listen to, um, or just it can sound too bright. But then the trade-off is if you start to roll that off uh, to pre prevent that fatiguing, then you lose some of that energy and clarity. Honestly, I don't know how they pulled it off. It's, it's like this miracle sound. You get all this great energy, detail, the sparkly highs, 
but it's not fatiguing to listen to. You can listen to these for hours and hours and hours. It's like you're getting the best of both worlds. It's just amazing. Now I also wanted to go into more detail about the soundstage because sometimes that does get overlooked. With the soundstage on these headphones though, it feels very effortless. And as I said earlier, it excels wonderfully at a very precise and open soundstage. In fact, it's really one of the biggest sound stages I've heard on headphones. Now the challenge when you have such a nice wide open sound stage is the bass can seem lacking. The bass is definitely present and well felt even with this nice wide open sound stage. So Sennheiser really pulls it off with what can be a challenging situation, uh, bringing those two together and they do it beautifully. Now if there was one thing I didn't like about these headphones from a sound quality uh, standpoint or maybe I should say the one thing I could see improving would be just to get a little bit more extension in the bass. But in my mind, it's a small trade-off to make considering all the other things that these headphones do such an excellent job of sound quality wise. So overall from a sound quality standpoint, these are phenomenal. I can't really picture a better sounding all-purpose headphone, especially at this price point. So now I wanna go ahead and wrap things up with my final thoughts about these headphones. As I said earlier, in my opinion, these are the best all-purpose jack-of-all-trade headphones you could get under $200. That being said, there's still a few specific situations you may want to pick another pair of headphones. One, of course, is due to the fact that these are open headphones. As you heard earlier, they're definitely prone to leaking sound. And so if that could be an issue for you, you definitely want to choose something else. Look at something that's more of a closed back design. The ATH-M50 um, or M50X is an example of that. Another reason could be because of the genres of music you like to listen to. If you enjoy uh, most of the time listening to more aggressive music, metal, electronic, trance, uh, you might find you want some, a little faster headphone, something like the HD25 as an example, um, possibly the ATH-M50X, uh, the V-Moda's uh, Crossfade LP2 would be another great example. And for again, if that's all you listen to, you may find these headphones are just a little bit slow for you, especially with this nice wide open soundstage. On the other hand, because these have such a great, precise, open soundstage, you're really going to hear all this great instrument sep separation, all this detail and clarity that you're not necessarily going to get with those other headphones to the same degree. So even if that's all you listen to, you still may really enjoy these headphones. It's going to be a little bit more of a personal preference, but I can't make as strong as a recommendation in that situation. Now comparing these to some other headphones, I don't know of another um, better sounding all-purpose headphone uh, under $200. Even comparing these to like the ATH M50X. The M50X does give you a little bit more bass and low end and a little bit more bass extension. So you could say it excels at that compared to the um, HD598. However, the HD598 as a whole provides a better listening experience. You just can't compete with this soundstage. You get all this great detail, all this great instrument separation. It's just fantastic. And comparing that to say the M50X, which is a closed back headphone, it's kind of apples to oranges in some instances. But if you could only choose one, I would definitely go with these if sound leakage isn't an issue for you. Uh, even the V-Modas, I like these better than the V-Moda um, Crossfade LP2. I think excels a little bit at some of the genres like rock, metal, electronic. But they also roll off the highs a little bit because they know a lot of people who get their headphones love to crank up the volume. And so to protect their hearing, they've rolled back the highs a little bit. And that's where, again, the HD 598 really excels because they manage to give you those bright, sparkly highs with all that detail and energy and clarity, but they're able to do it in a non-fatiguing way. So you can listen to these hour after hour or crank up the volume and not have that same issue with worrying about damaging your, your uh, hearing, at least to the same degree um, as you do with a lot of other headphones. So that's this is another example where as a whole, um, the HD 598s definitely excel, but you'll have these kind of situations where you certainly may want to go after another pair of headphones, but just looking at, generally speaking, as an all-purpose headphone, any genre of music, HD 598s all the way here. Um, uh, like I said, best sounding all-purpose headphone, jack of all trade headphones uh, for movies, music, gaming. Uh, you, uh, these headphones just just take it. Um, they're awesome. So hopefully this review is helpful for you. Um, if so, leave a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Again, check below for any additional information about these headphones, especially where you can get them at for the best price. And if you're interested in my group review of Sennheiser headphones, check below uh, for a link to that video as well. But otherwise, thanks for your time. I really appreciate you watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video.